Mr. Mimitin, absolutely cooking you guys' ears. Last time Turkey voted, Twitter and later YouTube were simply blocked. This time, Prime Minister Erdogan is using them to campaign. And yet, a controversial anti government account has just been blocked. <laughs> Turkey's Prime Minister wants to become its president. He's shown viral videos on the screen here. And thousands are live tweeting this event with the hashtag The Man of the Nation is in Istanbul. Etiket tabii tabii işte bunların söylediklerimin hepsini etiketledim. It's a bit contradictory in some ways because Erdogan himself criticized Twitter previously. So how come you're using it today? Yasak kalktı o belli bir süre içindi. Haklı olarak yasaklamıştı. çünkü bizim haklarımızı savunmuyordu Twitter. They were angry with Twitter then for not taking down attacks on the ruling AK Party, especially after alleged insider leaks exposing corruption. But now Turkish law has been changed. In the early hours of Tuesday, another anonymous leaking account was blocked. We've managed to get in touch with the person behind it. They say they're operating alone, that they're an insider in the ruling party. But it wasn't the Turkish state that blocked this account. It was Twitter itself. And they say they were forced to do that under a court order. But they believe in free expression, they say, and so they're trying to get the order lifted. Twitter I love social media. But my country ve ülkemi daha çok seviyorum. Twitter'dan çok daha fazla seviyorum. Ve ülkemin saygınlığını e, Twitter'a erişebilmekten çok daha fazla önemsiyorum. Tayyip Erdoğan burada Twitter'ın Türkiye'yi ve Türkiye'nin yargı kurumlarını tanımasını istemiştir. Yoksa bunun dışında başka hiçbir sebep yok. Meanwhile, the rest of social media remains unblocked, which means people are free to joke. Here in Turkey we have a huge role for the absurdity on social media because it makes others more receptive for your message because it's funny. Wet weather was used by opposition protesters. A year ago, Prime Minister Erdogan accused them of attacking headscarved women. They used this picture to ask him if the rain too had an anti-headscarf agenda. Another popular topic on social media is about the fact that Ekmelettin İhsanoğlu, the opposition uh, presidential candidate, uh, failed at remembering that a part of the national anthem is actually a national anthem. It was funny because, you know, we, we learned national anthem in the primary school. Erdogan himself played the video of his opponent's gaffe at his rally. And as the crowds cheered, Turkey's top three hashtags and two of the most clicked YouTube videos were either pro-Erdogan or bashing his rivals.